In this short presentation today, I'm going to be talking about logic mazes. Logic mazes are different from the typical normal maze in that they have a rule. In the first part of the presentation, I'll be talking about stepping stone mazes. Stepping stone mazes are mazes which have a simple rule. The rule for the stepping stone maze is start in one colour, go three steps in that colour, then change colour. So, here goes. We start in yellow, we go three spaces. When we get to the last yellow counter, we have to change uh, onto green. We go three on green. We then have to switch to red. We go right one and then up one and left one to red. We have to switch to green again. Um, then yellow, one, two, three, blue, back to green, finally to red, and out. In this section, I'd like to talk about constructing mazes using simple number sequences. The rule for the number sequence grid is straightforward. You go to one, then you go one, two, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and home. In this activity, the teacher and the children will start off by making and, and investigating some stepping stone mazes. After they've solved some of these successfully in pairs, they will move on to constructing number sequence maze. They'll then come together as a group and discuss their mazes, solving each other's mazes and deciding which one is the best to use uh, to construct a bigger maze, perhaps in the playground or in a school gymnasium. To construct a larger maze, we have found that laminating A4 sheets with large numbers on works very well. To outline the grid, we think duct tape is a very suitable material. I find this activity very enjoyable and I trust you and the children will too.